Okay, here I am uh, teaching uh, Chris Blitzkrieg Commander, and we're doing a bulge scenario. It's appropriate. Here are my dollar fifty trees from Target. Uh, so basically, Chris has got to take this town away from me, and I'm the Americans. He's the Germans, and he got uh, two commands and moved his guys up here. This command failed, so those guys are still off board. I didn't do anything my first turn because I don't have any targets, and I'm not going to move because I'm dug in. He has to get within ten centimeters to even see me. Until or unless I fire first. Um, that's that. So that was turn one. Pretty simple. And we're moving on to turn two. Hey, okay, so end of turn two. Uh, Chris was able to put some smoke here uh, to block my line of sight to these guys moving in and to block my mortar from seeing those guys over there. And um, I did get a, some shots on this guy and got a hit, a couple hits, and he got a hit on my guy in the city. And he was able to move up here and fire a bunch on him. So that's why he took a hit. He got a lot of shots on. And so that's pretty much the end of turn two. I tried to move this guy back and I failed in my command roll. So I couldn't, with my CO. So that means I couldn't do anything for the turn. So that's that. And uh, Germans are moving on. All right, into turn three. Um, this guy's taking some more hits. And two more hits when he moved. Uh, but he did move successfully out of cover because he didn't pin or suppress. And then when I rolled again to move him back up, I suffered a blunder, and so he is at minus one for, well, for this turn, but for the next turn. So he's minus one. Uh, Chris made up some, stayed there and just tried to shoot at me, and these guys finally got some moves, and they're just slowly moving up. He fired artillery and was ineffective. All right, that's that. Going on to turn four. Okay, into turn four. Uh, Chris's guys got kind of stuck out here in the open. Um, just trading shots. This guy moved back in, so he's concealed again. Um, this guy suffered that penalty and so couldn't command him. He's out with 20, which reminds me I would want to move him closer to those guys at the end of his command. But, you know, at the end of his command, he's mm -hmm. um, And that's where we are right now. And now this is turn five. We get, hopefully, reinforcements. Okay, into turn five. Chris's reinforcements came on, came up here. They will probably take care of these guys over here at the end. Um, this guy tried to close assault and was fired and then fired again, suppressed back. And um, Chris, I forgot you could have shot opportunity fire on these guys when they were firing on you. Oh. If you were the ones that weren't suppressed, I totally forgot about that. Oh. How convenient of me to forget the rules <laughs> when it would have benefited him. Um, these, my reinforcements came on, they went that way. My tanks decided to get all up in their um, business. Oh, I need to move, again, I forgot I need to move my unit up there. Uh, what else happened on this turn? Cleaned out these guys. I think I already said that, and that's where Chris could have fired. But they suppressed. Well, they both took hits and died, but this guy could have fired on this guy here. Uh, yeah. Maybe suppressed him. Yeah. Again, how convenient of me to remember that after the fact. All right, so there we go. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. We Turn six, six, seven, eight, nine. So four turns for him to yeah. get up and then clear these guys out, and they're still concealed. And they're just all cowering in the woods, scared. By all right, turn six was quite uh, eventful. Chris tried close assaulting. Two guys were wiped out. Um, we're, both of us are uh, stumped on how to get me out because it hits on sixes, saves on four pluses. And I, the artillery is now more effective. It'll suppress if he gets any hits, even if I save him. And these guys failed, so they didn't get to move. So these guys had failed, they didn't get to move. So now these guys are going to take on some nice shots on here in initiative, probably. And uh, my mortar's gone, and these guys are gonna rush up here. All right, all right, Alt into turn seven. He Chris had some better better turn that turn. He got rid of my guys in the hill finally. Got a double turn, so he got to fire double at these guys. Knocked them out of this town, so they'll probably get wiped out here because they've got five hits. Both tanks are knocked out, so that's a bummer. Then these guys had to move out in the open with those guys, so they're getting kind of whittled away here. Question is, can I get up in there? He has to get rid of all my guys out of this town in two turns to win and keep that guy in there. And yeah, my guy tried rushing him on initiative and failed. So I think that's it. And these guys are back there just supporting. The CO's over here. And that's it. All right, uh, turn eight, end of game, because I broke my, uh, broke the battle. I broke, my morale broke. Because Chris was able to kill three units, four units in that turn, so that put me three over my break point. So and then I had to roll a six or less, and I rolled a ten. So I had to finish the game. The key we, uh, is so I saw three units. So actually, 
two units in town here, but because I broke, I ran out of town. Key is Chris broke through here, and these guys stalled out here on one or two turns. Yeah. And so when they got up to here, I had to move up. When I got up here, they were wide open, and these guys just, he just whittled them down. So if these commands got in there, I could have gotten to town. It would have been over a couple turns ago, but it didn't. He broke through there, got him, and command rolls screwed us as usual sometimes, but not always. But anyway, that's that. That's the game. But uh, Germans won. They won the Battle of the Bulge. Ooh. Thanks for watching.